Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight and also welcome back to I Have a Cold. Uh, yeah, today this is going to be an interesting episode because, as I mentioned, I have a pretty, well, I wouldn't say too bad, but I do have a cold. Uh, had it since like Friday, basically. So, fuck, I already died. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be more of a laid back type episode. I am not going to, you know, like take it really hard. Whoa, okay, no, never mind. I just realized what I said. Yeah, I'm like medicated. Uh, I've been taking a lot of pills. I'm like a mumble rapper. Uh, so I'm like out of it, semi out of it. I'm not really, but there is this allergy medicine that I take, which helps with the stuffy nose, so that I don't sound like this. <coughs> and it's pretty good, it just makes you really tired, it's basically like Benadryl. Uh, so yeah, that's what... That's what I'm on. Again, mumble rapper style. Anyways, welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, this is an area I've not been to. See, I made it back here. Uh, to the Crystal Peaks. And I'm just trying to figure out... First of all, where... Okay, nice. So, where I could find... Oh, shit. Can you actually... Never mind. Where I can find a checkpoint. And basically, where I can find the map. Those are like the two key things. Oh shit. Okay, I like that puzzle. It's not even a puzzle. I like... Oh, you gotta jump there. Okay. I like this platforming section. It's pretty... Pretty good. I can see how this mechanic will be... Utilized. Shit. God, that's difficult. Uh, because you have to like... Be pretty precise with how you jump. Oh man, this is the thing about not playing this game for a while. What the hell? That you forget what you have done and haven't done. Okay, those things are immune to damage. I'm guessing they're like more... Ouch. More like environmental hazards. Shit! Okay, let's heal ourselves. I'm like doing pretty badly. Oh, this is my savior. What are you supposed to do against that? Uh, I'm just thinking if it... Hmm. Oh, it's so far away. Actually, I think going through the tunnel here is a shorter path. Ah. <sighs> I haven't found a bench either in this place. You know what? I'm gonna go from this like entrance. I'll take the first entrance because I got hella lost in the Crystal Peaks and I was like jumping all over the place and shit, so I'd prefer to start over and look at some of the paths that I may have missed. If I did miss anything. This is one of the things, the backtracking in this game can get pretty insane. Uh, somebody posted a pretty good trick though in the comments of the last episode. Apparently if you don't rest at a bench, uh, you will spawn at the previous one after you quit and reload the game. And that way you can like semi-teleport yourself around, you know, in certain ways. So this is like the initial... Oh, I didn't get this. I wanted to get this. Rancid. That I, I think you can sell these, right? Well, even if you can't, it's good to have. Okay, so this is the initial area. Let's just, you know, explore. Okay, 
so I've been here. Yeah. It's where you start encountering the boys. And see, there is a sign this way. I gotta blow my nose. This is going to be a theme for the next couple of episodes. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna record. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. How did I miss this? Or did I not miss this? Did I not miss this? Did I miss this? I don't remember. If I didn't miss it, why the hell didn't I spawn there? Whatever. Okay. I may have been an idiot. What I'm gonna do is I'll explore uh, back where I died. Because overall, the chances of there being a Corniferous with a map are much higher this way than the other way. And then we can... We can look at the other paths. So anyways, uh, one thing I'm curious about... Okay. Yes. You can kill them this way. So they will die. It's just not easy to kill them. In general. Just wondering which way this fool could be. Oh, there's going to be a lot of environmental hazards. It's like Attack of the Clones. And that section in Attack of the Clones was so stupid. Okay. Oh, shit. I wonder if these are, like, timed some way. Nice. I think we have the boy, yes. Very good, very good. Come to scale the mountain. I've heard tales of a summit way up there. Too far for me though, I'm not really one for heights. Hell yeah. There's no way I ain't purchasing a map this area. Okay. That looks fairly much like a dead end. Uh, there's an item up there as well. So... I don't know. On well, that leads to the resting grounds. That's where I fell off. Like, kind of an idiot, but not really. I think we'll go up first. Just see what's here. Just to see what's here, and then... Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Crystal go- oh shit! She has a laser. Please don't be difficult. Oh, he's difficult. Maybe not. Shit. I'm stupid. Man, that was the stupidest boss fight. As in how I did that. That was not how you're meant to do that at all. Uh, I get what you're meant to do. It's just, you know. I got flustered. I wasn't expecting that. But we'll certainly try again. It's not a difficult backtrack. Man, there's quite a lot of... I don't know how many of these count as like actual big bosses. Or whether these are considered mini-bosses, but... Still. Still. Whoa! It's a huge... It's a huge attack range. So that might be a mini boss, but it don't matter. He's guarding uh, what you call it. Okay, he's guarding a bench. See, I'm almost tempted to go through this, but then again, I have my souls to worry about. It's pretty cool. It's bouncing between these two. I'm guessing you can get to the worm through there. 
Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, these are timed for sure. In a way that's so... It's always possible to avoid the laser. Which I didn't avoid there. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm about to die. <sighs> Shit. This is nerve wracking. What a dick session. Section, I mean, not session. What the fuck is up in me today? Uh. I keep Freudian slipping or something. Let's go do this. <coughs> Should still be manageable. I eat shit, bitch. Oh man, that spawns quickly. His scream lasers. <coughs> Is that it? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Why do I have a feeling that's only uh, part one of that boss? Definitely, definitely just part one. Okay. Okay, that's blocked. I'm just pulling these, like, where I'm going out of my ass, really. I don't have, like, a concrete plan exactly on where to go. I'm just going by instinct. Nice. May as well charge yourselves up. It looks like that's all that you can do here. <coughs> Down we go. Fuck. Straight onto an enemy. I was just about to say that this is for sure gonna culminate in like some dead end or something. Or spikes. And it kinda did. It kinda did. Okay, okay, that leads to the other side of this. There's a lot of these worm things here. Whew. Two, three, four. Oh, how the fuck? There's no, no way you can make it through there. There's absolutely no chance. I think it's w way too quick. There's no like space in it as well. Yeah, there, there's no chance. Which is a little bit strange. Uh, but whatever. Maybe there is like some... Slow down time ability we will get later on. That's the only thing I can think of. Because <coughs> it's like, what the fuck? Anyways. Yeah, you gotta be careful. So I'm going to, yeah, just explore here. I feel like this all loops around, pretty much. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, shit. I'm almost tempted to destroy some of these things with the... Uh, with the magic spell I have. This looks like just treasure. Which is weird because I already have way too much and I can't spend it. But I'll take more cash. 
See, that one you can make it through. You gotta have good timing. But the ones above... Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work either. What? Oh. I know I know how to platform. Oh, this is gonna be awful. You see that? It's a conveyor belt. And and the goddamn what you call it. Like stomping thing is. Excuse me. I gotta blow the nose. I it's always reminded me, like these types of things always remind me of, of that channel. That was like that Finnish dude who had a hydraulic press. Do you guys remember that? I think it was called the hydraulic press channel or something. I specifically remember that dude. Okay. Did I shut down? I think the presses have stopped. Which means we have our way out, sort of. Not way out, but you know what I mean. Uh, please stop. Oh, no. They're not stopped. Fuck. Okay. I really th thought they would be. I was hopeful. But, nah. Okay. But that, def that definitely did something. Did it unlock this? No, it did not. And of course, there's the whole other area where it leads to the resting grounds. There was a bunch of paths there that I didn't explore. Uh, so, I don't know, bruh. It all kind of loops together, but we can also go up. Let's go up. I have 3,000, like, fucking... What you call it? Coins. I'm just thinking of what the fuck I'm gonna spend it on. I mean, we could get weapon upgrades. But I don't know. I mean, I guess weapon upgrades are... Well, I have one more weapon upgrade, because I only have one pale ore, or whatever it's called. Alright. Hello, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's this dude. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating, if not for your small stature. Well, thanks. Did it sadden you to see those miners below still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy, not as powerful as the soul of the city dweller's harness, but far less lethal. Huh. Does this dude have amnesia as well? Oh, that's dirt mouth. I like the dialogue in this game. It's like there's... Again, very Souls-like, there's an air of mystery. This is a boss fight. This 100% leads to a boss fight. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. It's very, very boss area-ish. Or it was. I'm guessing, since there's enemies here, that danger doesn't really apply here. Oh shit. Give me the cash. Whoa, did you see the game lagged for a little bit? That's strange. I have to like, be very quick here. Wanderer's Journal. We can sell that. Basically like a grave robber at this point. Just thinking of shit that I can sell. 
for Geo that I can't use for shit. There was a point where I like was really running low on it, and I was quite in trouble. But it's all good now. Ah, shit. Man, being having a cold sucks, and this is a light one. Uh, you know how cold normally go. You know the process. Like you get like this weird kind of dry throat or sore throat and shit. And then, this is a boss, 100%. And then, you know, it, you get a stuffy nose, and then you get a runny nose. Uh, luckily, I skipped the worst part, which is the dry slash sore. That is my dog in the background. Shit is like falling apart as we speak. So I managed to skip the sore throat part. What I did not manage to skip is the stuffy nose. Slash. Hold on a second. I don't even know how I managed to get through that. Uh, slash. Runny nose part. The runny nose phase is where the boy's at. And it sucks because I'm going through so many tissues you can't even imagine. Luckily, this allergy medicine is pretty solid. It hooks me up, you know. Oh, fuck. How the... Oh. Two points of damage for that. This section is gonna suck. But how? Like, no! This. Oh, that's so unfair. Not unfair, but you know what I mean. Maybe precision platforming is like not. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Because I'm about to die, like legit. And I really, really don't want that to happen. Shit. This section is... A motherfucker. And I'm dead. This is like the worst way to die. Like legit. I mean, I, bought, I unlocked a bunch of shortcuts. That is good, but damn. And it looks like it's just one giant room, which means it probably leads to some treasure or something, instead of anything significant. But maybe it's treasure that you gotta get. Who knows? Is that like weird objects in the background and it's been marked by like, look at those robots or whatever. Okay, I nearly immediately killed myself. That's cool. There's like a creepy music that plays whenever you find your little body. Oh, shit. It's always two points of damage immediately. Difficult, to, or it's easy to get flustered. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's a little bit chaotic. Okay, that did not give as much as... Oh, shit. I was really confident in my timing. Ugh, no! I suck. This action is gonna be real bad. Maybe it's better to just, yeah, just take it and go through, you know. 
Yeah, it's better than getting flustered and falling down. Please tell me that's the end of it. Oh, okay, I got scared. This is gonna be a... What the hell? Consumed the crystal heart. Hold L2 while on the ground or clinging to a wall to concentrate the force. Release the button to, to blast forwards and fly through the air. Whoa, okay. This is an ability. Hold L2 to super dash. Yes! I knew it! And I immediately died. But it's a screw attack. Or it's like the charge you get from the screw attack. Oh, this is really cool. This is really cool. Alright, game. GG's. GG's. I like that. I'm thinking of the applications of it. Uh, I'm sure there are many. Number one. Any area where there was like an inordinately large like amount of free space like for example the lake back in the second area you know which lake I'm talking about like there was no way to get across and that crystal oh, there's so many potential places now we can go to Naisu it's really cool when they give you abilities like this. Whoops. Oh, how the hell did I not come here before? Shopkeeper's key. Dang. Which shopkeeper though? I swear I'm not getting hit on purpose. Oh. Maybe I am. No, I'm not. Did I explore everything here fully? I don't remember. Can you super dash upwards? No, you can't. But maybe there's some like other potential uses for this. How am I nearly dead? And how do I not have... enough to heal oh man my nose is getting stuffy the medicine is wearing off probably the reason why I acted like less of a dickhead is past 10 minutes uh, the only thing I can go I think of oh the chasm where I fell into the resting grounds do you guys remember that there was a pretty big chasm there that I couldn't cross when jumping? That's why I fell down. I am like 90% sure that's where we gotta go forward. Yeah. This is really cool. The nice thing is that this game doesn't hold your hand. I like it in that aspect. wonder if you can use this to the super dash to get through the... the thing is... probably not though. Uh, yeah, okay, this is where we need to go. This should be easier to cross now. Or maybe not. I'm afraid I'm gonna hit something. That's like the real danger here. You gotta have like a straight access path. Ok, 
because I think right here nice I knew it I knew it let's see if there's anything no nope, nothing what the hell could this possibly be let me charge myself up it's could probably be a boss I can see this being a boss a breakable floor wait how do you do this there we go crystal sign crystallized mound oh shit There's gonna be some asshole area, right? I think it's better to just avoid those guys. Oh, are you serious? <sighs> this is not gonna be easy. This is like some optional area, right? Oh, you take damage if you touch that too. This looks definitely optional. But holy fuck. I think we'll leave that for the next episode. Because uh, I gotta wrap it up here. Uh, it's been a fun one. Despite the hiccups. Which I didn't actually have. But nose hiccups I guess you can say. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. Despite the sickness down with the sickness yeah i'll see all of you next time goodbye